A new program to groom the next generation of furniture fittings specialists who can manage and supervise on-site projects. The professional conversion program will take in its first cohort next month. It aims to attract more PMEDs to join the furniture industry. Chloe Chu with more. A manpower crunch caused by a shortage of foreign workers due to the pandemic threw a span in the works for business activities in the furniture industry. It impacted its interior fit-out business segment, valued at about $3 billion a year. A furniture fitter skills are typically measuring and installing wardrobe and cabinet fittings. But this new training program aims to train and create highly skilled furniture specialists who can manage clients as well as interpret design works and bring them into production. They'll also get to pick up knowledge and practical tech skills that can help plug the manpower shortage in the sector. As companies or the industry starts to digitalize and move out onto the technology wave, there's a need to upskill traditional installers to that whereby they have the soft skills and they understand materials, they understand advanced materials to design, to incorporating this into the production. The program aims to place 70 trainees over the next two years. It'll match job seekers with employers through its network of more than 350 industry contacts. Ten furniture companies have already pledged to take on new hires as part of the program. It will definitely help to alleviate the issues of manpower shortages. In addition, it will provide an alternative pathway for many Singaporeans who are looking to learn new skills with the aid of modern technologies and tools. Singapore's furniture industry has set out a roadmap since 2018 to help it remain competitive and ensure long-term growth. Among its strategies, supporting local firms to innovate and internationalize, and encouraging employees to upskill. The global furniture industry was valued at $675 billion last year. It's set to grow further in the near term, supported by the rising middle class in Asia.